So let's explore the process of communication. When we communicate one to each other, so there are three channels to which we perceive information. One is visual, so we can see the person. The other is auditory, so we can hear the person. And the third one is kinesthetic, so we can feel the person that we are communicating to. So if there is a person A communicating with a person B, person B perceives the information that is coming from a person A through three different channels, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. But when the person B receives the information, this information is processed. Let's say that this is the internal map. So information that I'm receiving from you, I'm processing to my internal map of my experience. And based on my inner experience and my internal map, I am deciding if the info that I got is scary for me, if the info that I got will upset me, or if the info that I got is very good and I'm very happy with what I what I hear from you. So it's not actually the info that defines how I feel, but the map that is filtering this info. So that's why in a different situation, if this information, if this is an info, you say to different people, people, person A, person B, C, those two people well, might have complete different interpretation of this info. The same info goes to person C. Because the map of reality of person C is completely different map. So after the info, person B might be really frightened and person C might say wow no this is actually very cool information I like it so learning about map maps of our clients of our associates of our friends and our families will help us to understand how to structure communication and how to present information in a way that we get the desired response and in NLP, we are working with the two different communication models, as I already presented in the first um, video. One is the Milton model, the set of language patterns which will help us to present info in a way that goes behind and above the maps. So Milton model. In Milton model, we will learn how to structure sentences so that at the end we get desired outcome, desired emotional reaction of our friends, associates and people that we are talking to. So to create the influence. What is influence? Triggering certain emotional reaction within people. In sales process, what you want to achieve? You want your clients to feel happy about your products. You want your clients to be happy about you. You want your clients to say, yes, this is the right thing for me. So you want to influence them. So you want to structure communication in a way that goes, that goes behind, below, above them, those uh, maps. To avoid all those filtering effects that my map has so that you get a positive reaction.
So this is the, the goal of Milton model, to trigger certain emotional reaction within a people. And the second model that we will learn in this course is so-called meta model. Model that came from the work of Fritz Perls and Virginia Satir in a situation when there is an influence but we feel bad or when we feel angry or maybe when we, when we feel happy about the product but we don't know why we are happy, feel happy. When we want to remove this influence we will use the set of questions that we call the meta model question that will help us to actually get back this sensory based description concrete info what actually happened there to remove the effect of our maps influencing the concrete info for example you meet someone and the person you say wow this is a great person I want to work with this guy and then you say okay what is the exactly this guy said or what, what he did so that you decide that this guy is great because this guy just did some things and based on what you have in your map of reality for you he is great salesperson manager employee whatever but the thing is that maybe this guy is actually very skillful uh, presenter very skillful salesperson so that he can present the things in a way that they resonate with your map of reality and you feel good about him and vice versa maybe someone who is a very professional and you're the one who wants to choose a professional will not be able to present things in a way that resonates with your map of reality so you will you can say wow well, I don't like him and maybe you will miss the opportunity to work with someone who is a highly professional person just because your map of you you didn't understand what is exactly that triggers in you positive or negative emotion so with middle mo Milton model we will learn how to be influential and we'll with the meta model we will learn how to remove influence when we feel that our emotional response is somehow I don't know it's not maybe completely aligned with what's going on maybe I'm too happy about something or maybe I'm a little bit afraid or or have some kind of emotional response that it doesn't serve me in the situation 